Okay, for this thoracic rotation drill, we're actually getting a lot to happen here. So in this position, we have our left foot forward and our right foot back. Our hips are at 90 degrees in either direction, and our knees are at 90 degrees. So if you can mimic this 90-90 kind of shin box position, is what it's called, um, then that's a great starting point. What we're getting here is external rotation of that left hip, internal rotation of that right hip. Now this might be a little bit difficult for some of you to get into this position. If so, we can just work on, first of all, getting into this position. Uh, the more we can improve that, then the better our golf swing, right? Because we need to get into the back swing, left side external rotation, right side internal rotation. That's exactly the position we're in here, right? So we're getting that reciprocal uh, motion where one side is doing one thing and the other side is doing the opposite. Now, where we can upgrade this and turn it into a thoracic rotation drill is we hold this ball um, if you don't have a medicine ball, then just think about kind of giving yourself a big hug and creating tension in that in that way. And we're going to rotate towards that backside leg. So in this case, we are rotating towards that backside leg, and we're just kind of hanging out in this position. Now, what we need to do next is just own this position. So you should imagine yourself, um, we're going to breathe in through the nose, nice and slow. Breathe out through the mouth. Let the air kind of fall out of your mouth. Again, we're going to take a long time on these inhales and exhales own this position here where we're rotated towards our right side um, and feel the tension start to build in your abs as you're pushing out every last bit of, of breath there, right? That's really important. Feel your abs start to turn on a little bit, maintain that tension, two or three out of 10, and then breathe back in through the nose, maintaining that tension. What that does is that forces our ribs to internally rotate and kind of close down on each other. And then as we inhale, but maintain all that tension that we've built with the abs that are actually pulling those ribs in those positions is that we keep those ribs down and then we inhale and we're teaching the diaphragm we're teaching that thoracic spine we're teaching those hips how to exist in this position as we breathe in and out breathe in and out right so that helps with the brain it also helps with the tissue that are controlling these joints to start to get used to and actually adapt to these positions here okay so we start uh, chest facing forward we rotate towards the backside leg and then from there we breathe Breath in through the nose, breath out through the mouth, maintain that tension, another breath in through the nose, and then we can rotate back um, facing forward, and then we can rep that out. Just repeat that four to five times, kind of owning that rotation. Again, trying to get a little bit more rotation each time, but also trying to make sure we're standing up as tall as we can and staying standing tall um, as we do it, right? So a great drill to get everything working together. We are in a perfect backswing position here, though it doesn't look like it. We have our left hip, in external rotation, our right hip is absorbing that external rotation, creating internal rotation on the right side, and then we are rotating our thoracic spine to the right. Again, try this in both directions. Um, it's important to try to maintain some of that symmetry, especially in a sport like golf where we, we tend to be so asymmetric. That leads to that pain, that discomfort, that overuse, right? So as a pain prevention, kind of prehab, make sure to do it on both sides, and then the same thing on the rehab side, we do it on both sides, um, but just make sure that we are getting it and especially paying attention as we rotate towards our right with our left foot forward and our right foot back.